Lord forgive me for this trap shit Sergeant Smack make it backflip Telly Hank it with the action With the vital speaking Spanish Frank Matthews how I vanish Poof Came back like I'm King Tut Go BBS is on a beamer When Fat Cat was tearing queens up Fall off the profit not the re-up Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus Uptown like I'm Baby Main Just caught a touchdown from the Bay are learning new details about the moments before a local rapper vanished while on a trip out of town. Shit, I had been goddamn working on this tape for, for, for a good long ass time. I even got folk hit me all on the unreleased shit like, damn, what? What you gonna do when you gonna drop that shit? But I be, you know, I be so goddamn tired up in the streets. I got family issues. So I decided to, instead of to keep putting dope boy shit on my tape, start a goddamn rap more about my family issue, my street issues, and, and shit. Police say the rapper Bambino Gold, whose real name is Edward Reeves, disappeared this week. He went with his cousin to Montgomery, Alabama. Channel 2's Audrey Washington spoke with a rapper's girlfriend. <laughs> The search for local rapper Bambino Gold and his cousin is intensifying. The 29-year-old, whose real name is Edward Reeves, hasn't been seen or heard from since Sunday. He's a loving person, and I really do miss him. These are some pictures we obtained from the rapper's Instagram page and video of him from an interview on YouTube where he discussed the time a bullet pierced his face. While he was shooting, I was looking. And one on hit me in my face. His girlfriend tells me that Reeves and his cousin, 30-year-old Kendrick Stokes, left southwest Atlanta for Montgomery, Alabama at around 4 Sunday evening. She says they went to the Ridgecrest area of Montgomery to visit a friend and were supposed to return a few days later. Friday, I spoke with her by phone about the last conversation she had with the rapper. He seemed fine. It was nothing. It didn't seem like nothing was wrong with him. She says when both Reeves and Stokes stopped answering their phones and posting on social media, she filed a missing persons report. Do you remember what he was wearing at all? Yes, he was wearing a white t shirt. Um, he had on dark denim jeans and some Timberland boots. Kendrick Stokes, his cousin who whipped him, mm -hmm. he had on a white t-shirt and some jogging pants. I called Montgomery detectives. They say Kendrick Stokes and Edward Reeves were last seen in a white Honda CRV like this one with Georgia tags. Police now ask anyone with information to please call Crime Stoppers. As for fans of Bambino Gold, they're posting their concerns on social media. His girlfriend tells me she has no other choice right now but to keep the faith. And what's your biggest concern? What's your biggest fear with all this? I try not to think about nothing like tomorrow. I'm trying to think positive about the situation. In Southwest Atlanta, Audrey Washington. body has been found in Macon County, Alabama. And authorities now saying they are investigating this as a murder. News that are nice. Chandler Morgan is off of a county road 113 in Macon County live tonight with more. And Chandler, what can you tell us about the body and what has happened? Well, Barbara, I got off the phone with the sheriff's office and they tell me their investigation led them to this wooded area just behind me. We're on County Road 13 over in Macon County, Alabama. They say that a passerby discovered the body around 440 this afternoon. This is in Hardaway, Alabama, about a mile and a half from Highway 80 West, just past a residential area. But that's where the coroner found and sheriff's office found a male pronounced dead at 5:30 this evening an autopsy will be done by the alabama department of forensic sciences and state bureau of investigation is taking over the case now the fingerprint team was called to the scene they do not know how long the body had been there but they say that it had started to decay as you said they found the body clothed and they do not know if foul play was suspected but since then i have spoken to the sheriff's office they tell me that this this is a murder investigation, so the homicide unit of the sheriff's office is taking over. They do not know who this person is, this male. They're trying to identify him, so they're asking anyone with information on the case to contact the sheriff's office. For now, live in Macon County, Alabama, Chandler Morgan for WTBM News, Slater 9.
All right, Chandler, thank you for the very latest there from Macon County. And of course, stay with the newsletter line on air and online at WTVM.com and our free mobile news app for the very latest on this developing story. What up, though? We back on mob business. Shit got pop a lot. We headed to the Gump, Montgomery. We getting real familiar with the area. Many of my guys from the state to tap in. It don't matter where you at. Montgomery, Mobile, Birmingham. Now, today I'm going to do my best to tell you guys the story of Edward Reeves or Bambino Gold, which he was better known by. But as I tell his story, it's more going to break down as a cautionary tale for those that have one foot in the streets and one foot into whatever you're going to transition into. Bambino Gold was an up and coming rapper that would make strides and build up enough motion that would eventually get him signed to Trill Entertainment. But he wouldn't get a chance to fully fulfill his dream and the streets would end up catching up with him. During the time that Bambino was trying to come up is what I would consider the mixtape circuit where they would have websites like Dat Piff, live mixtapes, amongst others. And personally, the first time that I would hear him would be a collaboration project titled Warning Shots with fellow Alabama artist El Dorado Red. With El Dorado Red being established on the mixtape circuit, it would instantly give Bambino Gold credibility. For a time, he was either signed or closely associated to El Dorado's BMG movement. He would get a chance to work with a young Mike Will, who would eventually go on to Miley Cyrus fame. He would release his first solo mixtape two years after that collaboration project, titled Fuck Being Indicted, that would also feature El Dorado Red. Bloody J, and a late little fat. Now, I'm not sure if it was the chemistry that they built on the song Rari that they put together, or if it had anything to do with the relationship with little fat. But not long after dropping the Trapaholic Assisted Fuck Being Indicted mixtape, he would start to be linked to Trill Entertainment, having his name pictured on flyers along with some of their bigger acts at the time, like Webby. The situation with Trill Entertainment wouldn't work out, with the label having bigger acts like Boosie, Webby, or even Little Fat, who was the son of one of the CEOs. And just like basketball, no matter how many talented players you have on a team, it's only one ball. He would later describe in an interview explaining the Trill Entertainment situation that he was not sure how serious that they took it, saying further that he bought himself out his deal for $25,000. He would drop two projects in 2014, Trap and Made It Happen, along with Love Fake, The Hate Real, continuing to make a name for himself, trying to find the right situation. He would begin to be associated with guys like Waka and Gucci Mane. But like I spoke on earlier, with one feet in the game and one feet in the streets, he would end up getting locked up for a few years on a gun and drug beef. After serving his time, he would eventually be released from prison and he would try to get the ground back under his feet. But it would be more setback for the rapper after he was shot in the face in 2017 in an interview describing the situation where he looked visibly uncomfortable. He explained how he had been chilling in the garage and somebody popped out and started shooting. After the shooting, he stated that he began to lay low and spend a lot of time in his condo and cut off a lot of the people that he had been dealing with. Allegations of snitching would start popping up online. That would have Bambino rushing to certain websites online with his paperwork, trying to clear up the situation. So with that being not long released from jail, as well as being shot in the face, I'm sure Bambino was in a situation where he didn't know who he can trust and probably only kept the closest people around him. With that in mind, in November of 2017, Bambino Gold, along with his cousin, Kendrick Stokes, a well-known party promoter in the area who also went by Schoolie with the Thule, the two men would last be seen on November 7, 2017, driving a white 2016 CRV with Georgia tags. Families of both men would tell local news that they hadn't had any contact with the two since the day they set off for their journey. Ten days would go by before authorities would discover a body on November the 17th off County Road 13. According to Macon County Sheriff at the time, Andre Brunson, 
A passerby would discover the body as they was walking in the area and would go on to tell a friend to call the authorities. After securing the scene, the police department would go on to launch an investigation. It would be the very next day, Saturday, November 18th, where they would find another body off Highway 80, leading Sheriff Brunson to say they were obviously victims of a homicide, saying that they were not far off the road at all and the bodies were found about three to four miles apart from each other. Finishing his statement by saying he doesn't think they were killed there, it looks like somebody placed them there. In interviews after his death, friends that said that they were close to him would explain how he wasn't himself and he almost knew something was coming down the pipeline. It wouldn't be long after his death where some of the stars that he had been working with, like Waka, Mike Will, and Gucci, would eclipse superstar status. And we only left to wonder what Bambino Gold could have done. Now, y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, Twitter, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. Y'all get in the comment box. Y'all let me know what cities we need to go to, what stories we need to tell, who we need to cover, what we need to talk about. Definitely drop them requests. We trying to cover as many as we can. And y'all know y'all got to hit the red subscribe button and that bell so y'all know when this real trill spill shit is dropping. And y'all know what it is by now. I'm going to be back sooner than later. Shit got pop a lot. Real mob tie shit.